This is so exciting. You know when you just feel good about something that you're working on or that you're contributing to? That's me. All day, baby. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to end up doing a voiceover. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to do my makeup, and we are going to do it voiceover style because it's a lot of information. We are going to learn more about our identity and ourselves through numerology. If you have not heard of it, it's on point. It's on point. You have to go do it. After this video, if you are not convinced by the end of this video, I owe you a dollar. Okay? It's both of mine are on point. On point. Okay? Except for like one or two details, but I mean, can you blame them? Anyways, so it's going to be a good one. And yes, my bun keeps going lopsided. We got a messy hair going on. It's all good. We're going to have a good time. Please share this video. Show this video. I got the danglies on today. I'm sorry. I'm just, I was in a mood. It is what it is. So grab a notebook, grab a piece of paper, uh, construction paper, maybe a journal, pen, paper, watercolor, however you prefer to take notes, please take notes. You will want to take notes. You will want to review them and grab yourself some popcorn or chocolate or a small bag of chips. Go grab a snack because it's going to be a good one. And uh, let's just get right into it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Hey guys. Okay, so we are just going to get right into it. Numerology. Obviously, it is the study of numbers, right? So within numerology, and um, don't forget, I am new to learning about numerology, but I am so excited to share this. I have to get right into it. Okay, so with numerology, you have your expression number, your life's path number, and your soul urge number, also known as heart's desire. So let's get into it. Now with your expression number, that will reveal your talents and abilities. Your life's path is major lessons that you're attempting to learn and your heart's desire or soul urge is your like core desires, like your destiny and why you're here. So for expression, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that one. And with this video, we are going to focus more on what is called a personal year cycle your life's path number, and heart's desire. And at the end of this video, I will get into my personal numbers and tell you a little bit about myself. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so with your personal year cycles, there are nine of them, and you find them by adding up the digits to your birthday of the month and the date and then you take the numbers of what year you are in. So currently it's 2021, so you would use 2021. So with this, well, with all of this, I am still a beginner. So for this one, I only went to one source and I will link her channel below. It's Lavender Eileen's channel here on YouTube. She's amazing. If you also Google it, it pops up right away. So personal year one theme is new beginnings and you learning to initiate. Two is for patience and love and focusing on emotions. Personal year three is creativity and self-improvement. So a lot of growth happens in this year. Number four is hard work and long-term goals. Personal year five would be about freedom and change, and that also comes with a little bit of uncertainty. And number six is responsibility and relationships. 
Number seven is doing the inner work and having a little bit of a spiritual reflection. Number eight is empowerment and finances. And number nine is all about learning to let go and having to complete something within your life. So I love that. And right now, myself, I am in personal year seven, which is all about inner work and spiritual reflection, which makes a lot of sense because this year is when I really focused on researching different people on YouTube and really trying to get a better sense of my spiritual side. And it's also the year that I got into crystals and I'm learning more about that. So focusing on inner work is really important to me and definitely important to my channel. And so for life's path number, in this video, I will not go into detail or you know, talk about the depth of life paths numbers because all of them have a really long explanation and it's it's a lot of research within that. So I would just add up your own number and just research your specific number. But at the end of this video, I will go into what my number is and read off my personal description. So with soul urge number, I will read one through nine, and then also the master numbers, 11, 22, and 33. And the way you find your soul urge number is you go online, or I'll put it on the screen, is you add up the numbers that are attached to the vowels in your name. And once you add up all those numbers, then that is your soul urge number. And if you have double digits, you split them up and add those up unless you come across a master number, which is 11, 22, or 33. And this is just what I personally found. So don't forget to look up your own number and figure out your own. That way you can get more of a detailed description. Okay, so soul urge numbers. Number one, you will have traits in originality leadership and be very independent. Sometimes you desire to be the first of everything and to be very successful in everything you do. Number two, you have to come into this life to learn certain karmic lessons that will serve you spiritual, that will serve your spiritual journey and you need to learn more about your powerful emotions especially cooperation and humility but you're filled with a lot of love number three you have a creative nature and your soul's desire is the full realization of all of your artistic gifts Number four, you like to live a stable, well-organized life and dislike sudden changes and you prefer orderliness in all things that you do. And I'm skipping number five because that's my personal one, which I will review at the end. So number six, you desire to bring harmony and balance in the lives of others they value family life over career or material wealth and well suited for healing professions. Number seven, you guys are highly spiritual and want to learn how to discover y'all's true self, a seeker of truth who is driven by the quest to find the facts. Number eight, you guys have a lot of energy and you want success in its fullest meaning. Number nines, they are very unselfish people and have a desire to help others. Their journey is a major part of their destiny. Master number 11, they have a deep need to heal and transform others. You are also a double one, which is a leadership. And number two, you are filled with love. Number 22, master number, you will want to bring forth masterful teachings and you are inspired by practical ideas. 
Number 33, your mission is to be a master healer, but will need to overcome control and perfectionism. So you guys will have to let me know once you figure out your heart's desire or soul urge number and leave a comment below what traits you figured out fit you the best with your number. It is the coolest thing ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but it is pretty cool and you get to learn a little bit more about yourself, which is kind of exciting for me most definitely and hopefully for others too. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky because again with this you add up all the vowels and when you read about numerology, they say that sometimes you count the Y when it's being used as a vowel, but then other articles say don't use Y at all. So in my name, I have a Y and if I use the Y, I am a three and I'll read a short description because it says threes are very creative, usually a photographer, musician, writer, or painter. Their talent is often legendary and they are positive and full of life with a good nature they may not mean to draw attention to themselves but they'll still frequently be the life of the party they are inspiring and very entertaining and they're at the center of every exciting conversation at their best threes are positive and appealing radiating exuberant joy and they have no trouble making an making a connection with almost everyone they meet. So I'm a three if I count my why, but with this, I chose to read a little bit of a description of a three because I'm not quite sure, but I have a larger description of a five and that's if I don't count my why. So fives have a deep desire to be free. They desire freedom. Fives are extremely flexible and they love meeting new people having new experiences, and experiencing change in itself. Also, they love adventure and to travel. Fives have a sharp mind and is a born communicator. We can think clearly in a crisis, which is why change doesn't frighten us. We are highly enthusiastic and get easily excited, especially over new ideas and opportunities. Fives are a bit of a gambler and we love taking risks. We enjoy being involved in several projects at a time, but we have to be careful because we could be irresponsible to when it comes to finishing these tasks and projects. We have a love for sensory pleasure and have to be careful we don't have excessive indulgence when it comes to alcohol or food, sex, or drugs. Many fives can be emotionally superficial. They feel love very passionately, but fear making deep and lasting commitments. We are also a bit of a hero and want to save the world because deep down we long to please everyone and to see them happy. Wild, right? Like when you start adding up your numbers and figuring out what you are, it gets kind of deep. And you'll be shocked as what you figure out and as to what you'll learn. It is, oh my gosh, I just think it is crazy. But okay, moving on. So life path, we will go over that now. And you figure that up by again adding up your whole entire birthday with the numbers involved, including the year you were born. So I am a three. And my meaning, oh, my meaning hit me so hard, it literally brought me to tears. Yes, I am an emotional person, I am very sappy, and I am into figuring more about myself, so I in itself also made it a little bit more emotional because of the journey I am on. And I know everybody experiences their own journey in different ways. So let's get into my journey and my meaning. Okay, so threes have a strong vibration. They are very creative and self-expression and independence plays a huge part of it. They are very playful and they have great communication. 
threes tend to be more optimistic and extremely generous, and they have a giving soul. They also try to be or find the positive in things around them. Most threes become writers, singers, actors, performers, poets, or musicians. They enjoy life to the fullest and easily put the people around them at ease or make them feel comfortable, especially because they know how to listen. But if threes do not use their creative energy, they could become manic depressive. One of our biggest obstacles is intense self-doubt and feelings of insecurity could stop us in our tracks instantly. Threes find it hard to take themselves seriously because they are afraid of what others think of them. It is a form of shame and guilt and it exists because threes contain joy, pure joy, and many threes do not believe that they are worthy of this precious emotion. Threes are usually afraid of their own emotions because of how intense they are, but when threes go beneath their own surface and accept that their problems and emotions are real and valid, their lives become deeper and richly creative. Threes are so creative that they are often found in the beauty business or other creative fields, especially like the ones mentioned earlier. It's where we start, but only a start because surface beauty is an illusion. And our true talents lie beneath the surface. And when we accept the inner reality of what we are dealing with is when we are able to express our originality. Real beauty is a matter of what is going on inside. Threes contain the gifts of words, attraction, sociability, creativity, optimism, memory, friendship, and humor. Threes should use these gifts to break through the chains of popular opinions and live spontaneously and discover real happiness and show it so that others will realize they can find their happiness. Take our three energy seriously because the world needs a dose of optimism, beauty, creativity, and laughter. So for people that are new here or people that just don't know, um, my channel is called Therapy is Beauty. And the reason I came up with that name is because Obviously, yes, I like to play in makeup, as you can see. I love being creative, trying new eye looks. I'm also trying to get better, and I just like to play and have fun. But the real work, the real reason I am here is because I want to dive beneath surface level. I want to talk about the real deep stuff that is within our soul, within our mind, or our brain, or whatever we're struggling with. I want to talk about all the deep stuff that really matter. And if you heard, that's what threes are. I just, uh, I it just brought a new meaning to my life when I started researching numerology. And again, I am a beginner. So I don't have all of the knowledge, but the very little knowledge I researched, I was blown away. I mean, my goal here on YouTube is to create my own community of positive people who are looking to grow and to start conversation. Keep active physically and mentally, especially the mentally part. Learning about numerology has oddly made me a lot more confident within myself and within my channel. I cannot believe I am sitting here achieving my dreams, achieving my goals, and it is possible. Everything happens for a reason, and this reason I can officially say I am on my way. That brings me joy. That brings me peace. 
that brings me hope and instills a lot of faith in what I'm doing. And I'm getting really good at, and I guess you could say I'm starting to realize the journey to my destination is actually enjoyable now. And I am just so excited and learning to be patient with myself and my journey. I hope you learned something new and please again, go out there and research more into your number, into your life's path. When I was doing research for this, I, yes, I'm sensitive. Yes, I'm emotional. Yes, I'm a sap. So I definitely cried. It was a lot and I know I am doing what I'm meant to do and I am just really wanting to take a moment and sit here and appreciate it. I want to feel thankful. I want to be grateful and I know not a lot of people get to stay home or put this much time into their passion or what they really care about and I have that opportunity so I'm very grateful for that. And I'm really excited to see where my journey goes. This is only the beginning. I am six months in and I know this is what I want to do. People, it is so important to do what's on your heart. Do what's on your mind. Give yourself that chance and give yourself that opportunity because you deserve it. Everybody deserves it. Everybody deserves to live a happy and healthy life with regular highs and regular lows. Okay? You deserve it. So if um, you stay till the end, don't forget to share this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye. Boy, boy, boys, blah. What was that? Okay. You can come over. Can't see. I was gonna just real quick show you this video I just took of Millie, mm -hmm. and then I have some questions to ask you. Okay. Done. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, that video is so cute.